Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a little uh, review of the tool that I have, that I bought, that I forgot I had. Anyways, it is this uh, Chicago Electric Power Tools. It's a uh, 5 and 3 8 inch. Uh, let's see if I can darken this up. Get it in there, maybe, maybe not. Focus on that. I don't know why it won't focus. It's, it's really easy to read. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what it, what the deal is. Anyway, I'll read it. Um, it says five and three eighths metal cutting circular saw. I think that says ten millimeter arbor, forty three hundred RPMs. It is one hundred and twenty volts, sixty hertz, five point nine amps. Item number, which probably isn't the same item number anymore. 69702 anyway uh so far so good um works pretty well i would say i cut all those steel pieces um and it cut through that thin walled stuff right down there it cut through that piece really really easy this is eighth inch thick so it took a little bit longer for it to cut. I probably do need a new blade. So it's metal cutting circular saw blade. I think it's 30 teeth is what it says. Um, it says on there 4300 RPM max and didn't I read? And it, oh, and it says 4,300 RPMs. Okay, so we're good. So, uh, it probably needs a new blade. This blade's probably a little trashed. I mean, all the carbides are still there. I don't see any missing. Um, it still cuts. I can't remember what I bought it for, though. I can't remember what I was doing that I bought it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. All I can tell you is that there's no shavings coming out of this. So I think this is for a vacuum hookup because uh, there are no shavings that come out of this. They all blow out the front right through this little cutout right here. Um, I think I do have the straight edge thing in here and if I remember right it does rock all over the place. If you go to the max where it's set, so basically if the end is hanging out here about a half an inch, um, it'll still rock. Um, the only way it doesn't rock is if the guide is completely butted up against, but then that serves no purpose. So I do know that from edge to cut to this side of the cut is an inch and a quarter of the blade so if you go from here to here it's exactly one and a quarter inches um it's not loud it's actually pretty quiet this the way you gotta tilt this kind of sucks because when you're trying to do it you know you got your hand up here and then you're trying to push down and it won't let you push down so you kind of have to come back here and push it so the ergonomics of it is kind of stupid. Um, yeah, I'm trying to use it left-handed. Um, let me try doing it right-handed. Show you what I mean. So you got your hand here, and you're wanting to push it down, but you have to. You actually have to push that way and then pull the trigger, which doesn't really work unless you have it pressed pretty hard so if you just do that it's not it's not pulled so unless you push it all the way then it'll pull it's kind of 
cramps up your hand. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I do notice it does bog down quite a bit. Smelling it doesn't smell burnt like like normal uh, Harbor Freight tools. It is adjustable, so the depth is adjustable. You can adjust the depth of it. I just go full depth because it's go full or go home. Um, but anyway, so I just want to say uh, I'm glad I remembered I had it. I don't know what I was doing, but I don't know why I forgot I had it. But uh, yeah, I have it. I used it. It works really well. I would recommend it if I remember right. I think I paid like 39 or 40 bucks for it. So I'm gonna see if I can't find another blade for it when I go pick up some steel, some drill bits, and yeah, I need to make a list because I'm already forgetting what I need. But anyway, uh, yeah, recommend that tool. Um, I don't know if Harbor Freight sells them anymore. I'm sure they do. I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, but yeah, so basically uh, tools that I'm going to review. Uh, I'll just do reviews every time I use a tool. So use it, blah, 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 work on whatever I'm working on. And whatever tool I use most of, I'll do a little review of it. Um, and then recommend it, or don't recommend it. But I strongly recommend this. I'm sure there's better ones out there. I'm sure there's better companies out there. Uh, that's what I wanted to check. So that's 4,300 RPMs. I was just wondering if you can't use this for some reason. Um, I'm trying to, <clears throat> trying to see. There are, oh, here you go. So, this is, you know, seven and a quarter inch cordless circular saw, 12 volt. I'm assuming NO means, and it says NO5500 slash minute. So, I'm assuming that's uh, uh, 5500 RPMs. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this one will be able to cut steel. I'm sure it could. Um, I do like that saw too, though. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that later. But anyway, this is about this video, or this tool. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, if you are going to use this, I would recommend some type of square and a clamp or some type of straight edge device um, because it will every time it cuts um, it wants to kick that way so like if I'm cutting here and I have it up against the straight edge it kept on kicking wanting to it kept on wanting to travel this way um, if I were to let it go that way it would just keep going that way but I'd have to fight it and bring it back um, I don't know what causes that or if that's just the nature of the beast it could be the design of this blade because I do see oh no I was going to say they they look tapered I don't even think you're going to be able to even see that um, the carbides are tapered every other one so this is a straight cut so this is straight this one's tapered that way this one's straight this one has a taper that goes that way so I don't think you'll be able to see the blade let me try to get in here or the teeth I should say not the blade um camera wants to focus everywhere besides where I want it to go so I don't know you could probably see you can see that one how it tapers that way but anyway so that's it uh, I recommend it I would say it's good I would say it works um, yeah so that's it 
for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, just click the like button. Comment below if you think this tool sucks. And if you own one of these tools or if you have a suggestion for the tool or a better tool, let me know in the comment section below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.